It may not look like it, but we're professionals. Do us a favor. Don't try this at home. Whoa! On this episode of Mythbusters, Adam and Jamie come out all guns blazing. <laughs> it's still hot. As they find out if a freakish three-way ricochet get just one shotgun could result in the shooter shooting himself. And I see a hole in me. Then Tory Grant and Jesse turn lumberjack. Uh, maybe we should have yelled timber. Testing the myth that a conifer can be used as a living catapult. Our only hope. To fling an infected corpse up and over a castle wall. Whoa! Who are the Mythbusters? Adam Savage. Here comes chaos. And Jamie Heineman. <laughs> We're going to have an adventure. Between them, more than 30 years of special effects experience. Joining them, Carrie Byron. Right to over the job. Tori Bellici. Okay, you want to play a rough little golfer? Grant Imahara. Good to go. And featuring Jesse Combs. Awesome. They don't just tell the myths, they put them to the test. <laughs> to kickstart the first myth, Adam decides on a field trip. They told me you were over here doing research. Looks to me like you're playing pool. I'm doing both. I've got our next story. It's a uh, shooting myth from our gun-toting fans, and allow me to demonstrate. Let's say this red ball represents our shooter. Let's say the cue ball here represents the bullet from his gun. The myth is that our shooter can fire a bullet and can bounce off one, two, three surfaces and come back to kill the shooter. Well, that'd ruin your day. I know. Let's test it. Okay. The myth takes place in a half-built skyscraper. It's a pin-up parable for poetic justice. One angry shot at just the wrong angle misses the target, ricochets off three steel beams, and returns to the shooter in less than a heartbeat. So how do you want to start this one? Well, I figure we need to start with some kind of a controlled situation. You know, a bench test. Well, to my mind, that just means we set up three adjustable steel plates, probably in our bunker, fire a gun into them and see if it ricochets off all three plates and kills its shooter. Works for me. All right. You ready to let all hell break loose in here? Yep. <laughs> From bare bunker to ballistic death trap, the transformation is fast and efficient. Three steel plates and three vices in one. 45 caliber pistol and what we've got here is pretty much the bench test setting up the circumstances of this myth in which this pistol will release its bullet firing it into plate number one where it will reflect off in theory at least at a 90 degree angle into plate number two doing the same to plate number three and hopefully coming all the way back around to where it started potentially killing its shooter now to make sure that everything's set up nice and jake i'm going to use some mirrors and a laser with the help of predictive technology, they're doing Pythagoras proud. The final angle won't quite make a perfect diamond, but there's method behind this deliberate misdeflection. Yeah, it brings the path of the bullet back here so that we hopefully don't hit the gun. Okay. I don't want to hurt it. Adam has no such concerns about punching a hole in his partner in crime. I brought some motivation for our gun. I brought a shooter. I look badass. <laughs> yeah. I figure we put him right here, and if there's any meat on the bones of this, he's going to end up with a bullet hole on him. Okay. So what we've got set up inside the bunker right now is a really idealized situation. In actuality, I'm not so sure it's going to make it perfectly all the way through. I don't know. I've seen a lot about bullets when they hit metal objects, and I'm expecting some spatter. Adam puts paper to steel to help mark the points of impact. When he's done, Jamie carefully loads the weapon. Bunker's hot. And they're ready to shoot with intent to kill dirty Jamie. This is ricocheting bullet. Ideal scenario. And three, two, one. I only see one plate with a mark on it. Second plate doesn't have anything. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? 
On closer inspection, that turns out to be an understatement. <laughs> I can already see what's going on here. Look at the back wall. Yeah, all right along here. It's spread out almost four feet.